or 200,000 years ago. We showed up suddenly with this brain 50% larger than any other primate, but it didn't happen slowly and gradually. And what scientists say, Brian, is that it appears that we are the result of some kind of an intervention. The evolutionary process cannot account for the complexity of the changes and the fact so many changes happen so quickly in such a brief period of time and all at the same time. Human chromosome number two we talked about before is, is responsible for this brain, 50% larger than any other uh, primate brain. Chromosome seven, at the same time, underwent mutations that allow complex speech in a way that no other form of life can have. And that's, that's why we sing and chimpanzees don't sing. We now can extract the DNA from the bone marrow of the beings that we believe were our ancestors, including Neanderthal. Scientists are able to pull that DNA from the bone marrow, uh, from the ribs, for example, of, uh, of a Neanderthal infant, a uh, baby girl that was found in Northern Europe. And when they compared her DNA to our modern DNA today, lo and behold, there is not enough similarity.